Welcome to the All New Nerds Podcast. I'm here with Johnny, and today we're breaking down Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3. Now, Johnny. Yes, sir. Best episode yet? Best episode yet, dude. This was, uh, we've been talking about it because we watched it together, but, um, this is definitely my favorite episode. Um, I am a diehard Clone Wars fan, and, uh, this was absolutely amazing, a dream come true to see, um, I guess we're just gonna get right into it, Bo-Katan from the Clone Wars, played by Katie Sackhoff herself, who is the voice actress for on Clone Wars and Rebels. Um, so I was freaking out when we saw her. Um, yeah, it it definitely is my favorite episode. I'm I'm so happy with it. This was great. Yeah, man. How about you? I no, a hundred percent agree. I think it was probably it's finally we got like a solid direction of the season, and we know exactly where we're going. And so typically we watch these episodes separately, and we don't really talk about it until the podcast, just for you know a genuine conversation, which we're still gonna have, right. of course. But basically this is one of the because you you're a madman you stay up till 3 (laughs) a.m i wait until i'd say about eight or nine at night on friday and then i watch it with my friends and we all get to react together but this episode at 3 a.m i swear i got a message from you that said holy shit you have to watch this episode (laughs) and that ate away at me the whole day because i I know i waited (laughs) and i was like oh i couldn't go on instagram i could i could hardly go on youtube People were posting every thumbnail I saw after, after, because I didn't even dare touch YouTube. Every thumbnail, basically, I saw about the episode had Bo-Katan or something like that. And so, it's cra- it's crazy. It's insane. Yeah, not, yeah, I agree. Yeah, not naming it yet. Definitely don't, if you haven't watched it, like, don't go on YouTube or Instagram and stuff, because you will get spoiled. Oh, yeah, um, people are ruthless. an obvious thing. Anything for views, crazy. baby. Anything for views. Um... Yeah, dude, I know. I know you've been, you were texting me all Friday and like, yeah, I really want to watch it now. I'm like, I, you have to wait. Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, but um, yeah, we got to watch it together, which was good. So I got to see your reaction because I already watched it previously. And then, that was fun, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it was you, a good time. I remember, and we'll get into it, but the, those blue Mandalorians come down. I'm like, is that Bo-Katan? <laughs> and it, oh, no, that was, that was great. <laughs> Um, yeah. So what do you say we get into this breakdown, huh? Let's do it. All right. I got some notes here. Let's get it. Yeah, me too. All right. So the episode begins, and we got Mando coming str- right off the last episode, and mm. uh, the Razor Crest is just not doing well, and so they got to land onto Trask, and um, basically just the ship is not in a good spot to be landing at all, and it's coming down, and it's sort of like. Uh, episode of revenge of the sith when they're crashing onto the planet it erupts into flames he needs the frog lady to help him out and they do land however they uh end up going right into the ocean which i remember i and some people were watching with were like the razor crash no but yeah and so adding on to that uh one thing i um i got nervous on that because i was like that can't be the end of the razor crest because last episode <laughs> i literally i literally bought the Hasbro Pulse one, yep. a yeah. vintage collection one. I would have been so upset if that was it, because oh. that that something they would do. Right, they would yeah. end like a campaign like that before like an episode like that would come out. For sure. Like, yeah. So, but the yeah, crest, I got scared. The crest is definitely not in good shape still, even at the end no. of the episode. But uh, right. so a, what I think or thought is a repurposed ATAT turned into like a crane. I don't think we've saw that before comes down I don't think so either. and yeah. picks up the razor crest and uh basically mando and the frog lady get out uh we see it's just mon Cala and Quarren, right those are the only two yeah. species there yeah and so they have a long history of just like i we saw in clone wars civil war and just like water they, wars yeah. yeah they do not get along but um those episodes. they look like they're at least coexisting on the planet of trask so the frog lady sees her husband, and they have a uh, very heartwarming Dude, reunion. So good. Yeah, that was great. Come and on. It's just like they. True oh, love. Star, Star Wars is so good at giving you characters that don't resemble <laughs> humans in the slightest, and just making you <laughs> hitting you right here in the heart. Mm. All right. So yeah. So basically, um, they join back together, and 
the the frogman basically tells mando to go to a what looks like a like just like a diner a cantina uh yeah. on the planet and so he gets there he buys uh baby yoda some chowder which had the like <laughs> chowder the dude squid. yeah dude baby yoda munching <laughs> it had the squid on it in it and it jumped on baby eat. yoda's face um yeah so basically mando the, the guy tells mando that uh seats are scarce and everyone everyone that sits eats uh but he says he can pay him for other things and that's information mm-hmm. about mandalorians and he uh yeah. he s- smacks down the uh calamari flan and it makes that like yep like gross sound and uh we saw those in the last season right yeah yeah You're right isn't that what okay yeah i wasn't sure grief cargo gives thought. it to him grief cargo right yep he doesn't yep. want because he thinks that imperial credits don't spend anymore or he, they're not right. worth as much as they were obviously yeah and That's so right, yeah. uh yeah so the the mon Kala, the mon calamari goes looks so up. good yeah oh my god all the puppets look so good corin too oof yeah looks so good sorry and so i believe he goes up to another guy and you hear him just whispering about a mandalorian it's yeah it's a corin he goes up to and uh i believe the next shot is, is just they're on the boat which yep some From people trailer, pointed yep. out kind of looks like a hammerhead corvette very mm. very a little bit it's i can see what people are saying i don't know if that's what it is but it does no i don't it think bit. it well yeah. i mean we did have a repurposed at at so yeah so why not the hammerhead it's yeah. it's de- it's yeah it's debatable that'd be interesting hmm. yeah and I didn't so notice that, yeah. the corin um are taking mando to just where they say the mandalorians are oh i didn't yeah, even didn't mention earlier sasha bank's character stares down mando when he right. when he enters and that's who everyone thought was yeah. sabine and of course it wasn't yeah um, i was pretty sold that it was sabine but i guess i not. was too i was excited i want to see some rebels characters live action yeah but um yeah. so basically the Quarren says uh have you ever seen a mama core eat or something like that it's called a mama <laughs> core i don't know what they're doing with it but it's like they uh basically he puts a bunch of fish in the mama core comes up and he kicks the baby yoda and the pod in dude i got scared for a second same man that scene i remember i was like no no like uh, <laughs> i mean they're not gonna kill baby yoda but still you know he's you yeah. feel bad for him man every time yeah. something bad happens to him you just oh it's tough and then he got eaten the whole pram did what oh yeah the, yeah the pram got yeah well it got pretty badly yeah. dented yeah yeah well and, the whole thing like it swallowed it yeah it's crazy and so um yeah so obviously mando being the space dad that he is he does a, a nice swan dive, dude. <laughs> nice that, like, dive. That was nice. Like, <laughs> I mean, my dad is like, he swam all his life. And like, I know a dive when I see one. That was a nice dive. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, he dives in and he's just struggling. He uses his jetpack, which works underwater, which is cool. Mm. And it turns out the Corrin are trying to take his best car and they're stabbing him. Yeah. And, um, Dude, everyone's trying to take that best car. I would too. Episode I one, too. I would want some I... best car, man. But, um, yeah. so yeah, all hope is lost until three blue Mandalorians pull through. And I kind of. Night owls. Yeah. Well, Night only owls. the woman, right? Two. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. and then, yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, I was. I pretty much knew it was uh, Bo Katan just she was the first one that showed up yeah yeah she yeah was the, and was you could tell shot, by the yeah. helmet mm. uh so bo katan was played by katie sackoff uh Costco reeves or yeah she was the other female mandalorian was played by yep. sasha banks sasha and the banks, guy yep. um ax woves he was played by mm-hmm. uh simon and i'm gonna butcher his name cassian cassian okay. something like that uh, they're yeah. all in a. I mean, Katie Sackhoff plays Bo Katan in in Clone right. Wars and Rebels, which yep. is really yep. cool because she looks yeah. great. Um, and Sasha Banks fits so well. Fits it so well. Sasha Banks is like a wrestler, I believe, cousins to Snoop Dogg. Yep. And she did. She yeah, did, I heard that too. Yeah. She did fine. That's true. I thought. I mean, 
I, I don't not much, think not much to do, but yeah. And I think yeah. the other guy was in, uh, he was in like Lost or something, and a couple other things. Yeah, um, I think he showed up in Agents of Shield. I didn't really watch it too much, but that's what I heard. I yeah, heard yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he looked a lot like, um, he gave me like Django vibes. You know what true, I mean? Like just his true. face. Like I know, obviously, it wasn't Django, but like he just like kind of looked like him to me, like with the hair and stuff. I don't right. Know. Just noticed that. And so yeah, Bo Katan cool. is there, and uh, she just. She looks incredible, man. Like it's just like oh, perfect. They couldn't have done it any better. Perfect. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even mention this episode is directed by Bryce Dallas Howard, who yeah. the first ep- she made the third episode, I think, in season one. Yeah. Which I wasn't huge on. I liked it. Cara I thought it was Dune a good episode. episode, but you know, I didn't. I didn't love it. I thought it was a little. Yeah. It's been done before in Star Wars too, and it's <laughs> right. just it was it was cool, but. She did much better in this episode, and maybe Dude. it's just because Bo Katan. Like, how could you mess that up? But I no, it's not even because it's like such a massive Clone Wars character, like Bo Katan, like showing up in live action. Obviously, that is like the highlight of the episode, of course. But even like the whole episode, just like there's so much, and like it is like that is a Mando episode. We got like Baby Yoda yeah. action. We got like the mm-hmm. sick action set piece. Like, ugh, so good. Yeah, yeah. So loved it. Basically, uh, Din Djarin and these Mandos start talking, and um, Bo-Katan takes off her helmet, and to Din Djarin, that is a big no-no. And he instantly <laughs> goes back, goes to the, where'd you get that armor? And, uh, and then they instantly, or Bo-Katan instantly knows that he is a child of the Watch, which Death Watch. is awesome, because mm-hmm. I was worried that Mando not taking off his helmet was a bit of a maybe a plot hole that they chose to implement or prioritize story over continuity right i was a little worried about that Mm. but it all makes sense now the fact yeah that that was a big question that was a big question from uh from last season it was like why is why is it like just that he can't take his helmet off when we have like sabine and like obviously bo katan like all those other men who want to take their helmets off and stuff so yeah and you know i'm glad they cover that up it's dave filoni like and he knows what he's doing so that's in the back of my mind right. i was like well no it's it's probably not a continuity error but no they explained it he's a child mm-hmm. of the of death watch yep and death watch as we know is basically bo katan used to be a member of death watch and then right. it's the and then she uh the night owls split off when maul took over mm-hmm. mandalore yep. and that's when a divide happened so mm-hmm. i'm still trying to figure out when Din Djarin joined the um joined Death Watch or was recruited by Death Watch. I'm sure there it's right. at, I'm sure it makes sense somewhere. But basically he doesn't he was never told about the Jedi really, you can tell, because he doesn't know anything about them. Uh and I'm sure there's a number of other things he doesn't know. But so yeah, he uh he keeps his helmet on and he's kinda culture shocked by this, you know. Um it's he like, realizes he's in like a cult. Yeah, yeah, much. exactly. It's like that's the Mandalorian she, cult. Religious zealots, right? That's what I think that's what yeah. she she calls yeah. uh, the ch- children of the watch. Yeah. And so he just he just dips away after hearing that news. And Did uh, I imagine him like we... crying as he was flying away? <laughs> just like tearing up. Like, oh man. I mean that's his rule was rock. Must be pretty heavy, right? Well that means that the covert that we got in season one is all yeah. Death Watch. Yeah, like that only the makes... armor, dude. Yeah, I the feel armor like too. um, I feel like I mean we'll we'll talk about it after, but I feel like we're gonna see her again, and uh, Mando's gonna have a scene with her. So yeah, he's gonna have it's a gonna lot of interesting. Questions. Yeah, yeah. So he's and I hope we explore that more of like his um, his like identity, like who he is, you know. Right. And we're, we're I mean we're probably there are a lot of um, like there's a lot of shots that kind of implied like that one day he'll change or something like Bo-Katan reaching her hand out was basically like the same shot as his backstory from last season when the death watch and and you know and we'll get to that but yeah Yeah. so basically he flies off and so do the other other Mandalorians and they just blow the thing up and we get a really cool shot of just like the such a good shot it's like a sunset there's three Mandalorians and so um I believe Din Djarin is just going back to his ship or something something yeah um oh yeah i we also oh never mind that hasn't happened yet 
but more corns jump him and uh i think one of the corns is like you killed my brother and then <laughs> bo katan and the other mandalorians jump down and bo katan mm-hmm. says uh no he didn't it was me and then they all just blast the corns dude yeah that was even the, like the yellow the yellow blaster bolts from their pistols like, oh were oh, they so cool even that yeah because it's front because yeah. her all the Mandalorians have like the yellow blaster bolt. Yeah, oh, that's so awesome. So cool, dude. That's so oh. awesome. Oh, I didn't even notice that actually, but that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so basically, they've kind of gained Mando's trust, and they, uh, they go into the same bar cantina thing, whatever, as earlier. And, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and yep. they're they're just discussing, and she is telling him basically just like um. I don't know. They're just kind of getting to know each other, and she, oh yeah, no, she mentions that she fought in the purge and she was chased off, or she had to flee Mandalore, but she wants to go back and save it. And Mando says something like, "Uh, that planet's cursed, and anyone who goes there dies." Yeah, but she very says very interesting stuff. Don't believe everything you hear. So again, that's probably more like Death Watch propaganda being fed to him. Yeah, that and like um. Well, I, get, I mean, they reference it more as the episode goes on, but um, we could, we could see Mandalore. We oh, could I would, see some, I hope so. Some live action Mandalore. Oh, I and we'll get into my theories for where this season's going. Yeah, but, we'll get into that after. But yeah. I, I have a theory. But, and so, basically, she says they're going to hijack a freighter, uh, an mm-hmm. imperial freighter that has a bunch of like weapons and stuff. And are yeah. they doing that just in spite of the Empire or to help their cause on Mandalore? Oh, so she... I think they're man I think they're Mandalorian weapons and that freighter's from Rebels. We've seen that in Rebels before. Um yeah. but um I'm pretty sure that those weapons were Mandalorian weapons. Mandal- all right. Taken and off Mandalore. She also mentions that she needs something, which she doesn't tell mm-hmm. I don't think she tells Din Djarin that it's the Darksaber. But... Right, but we all know. Yeah, yeah but it is the Darksaber. Yeah. And so, um, he basically says that um that he's looking for a Jedi, and she says, "Oh, I know one, but I'll only tell you you if you help us out." And so Mando, you know, he's looking for Jedi, so why not? So he does it. They kind of plan their attack. The freighter is called an Imperial Gazanti freighter, and so mm-hmm. yeah, like you said, it's appeared in Rebels. I think a couple yeah. times it's been in Rebels actually. Yeah. And yeah. um, yeah. So, so yeah, they start, the next day they board the ship, and we just get probably the coolest action sequences in, hands down, the, in the Mandalorian, I'd say so, and we just get some awesome shots of Bo-Katan, she looks, and just like, ah, she looks great, everyone looks great, um, I still can't believe it, we got still the people in the cockpit, it. the Imperial officer is, uh, played by Titus Welliver. Yeah, um, he. I didn't know his. I I knew he looked familiar. I knew he was from something. He's kind of he... one of those actors, like you know, like you know him from something, but you right. don't know his name. Yeah. What has he been in? Um, I'm not. I'm not. I think. I think Lost. I know other stuff, but I'm yeah. pretty sure he's been in Lost. So. Yeah. Yeah, and so, uh, yeah, so we get him and the two other uh like pilots basically. Yeah, and, that's uh, good. And yeah, so basically they're just as the action sequence go on, we hear from their like perspective of what they're hearing. And I think yeah. one one of the troopers or something says like there's ten of them and and he says our life our scans only say that there's four. It's which four. is basically just showing that the Mandalorians are that like you know they're that powerful and they're, they're that they're killers, yeah. 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 They're warriors, yeah. Exactly. Even the even the stormtroopers looked good. Like oh they looked God, yeah. so good do you do you remember that sequence when i think bo katan or someone throws that like smoke grenade down Mm -hmm. and then yeah they're like they're they're being like suppressed they throw the smoke grenade down and then they just they got like the infrared yeah yes oh it's so cool oh it's like that this episode was like 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 a clone wars and like rebels type episode like it's just that level of oh like the good rebels episodes but it's like sorry it's like yeah I, I think i said while we were watching it like oh this kind of feels like a clone wars episode but it's that much mm-hmm. cooler to see it in live action i know i know yeah 
And so, um, so good, dude. So yeah, they keep going. Eventually, so there's another holdout by like an officer and other stormtroopers, and um, so they get trapped. He's like, close the door, and the trooper says, which one? And he's just all of them, and he slams all, it. all of them. And so they get stuck. And then he, the imperial officer, is all happy, and he reports to the cockpit, <laughs> and he's like, we have them trapped. And he goes, where? And he says, uh, they're in the, the cargo um, control cargo room. Control room, yeah. right? <laughs> and then, and then, of course, they the Get the cargo fly, hold opens, yeah, yeah opens. and they all fly out. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So that's where the weapons are, and Bo-Katan yeah. talks to the cockpit, and uh, she's ruthless, man. <laughs> she's like, he's like, what? You're gonna just jettison out a couple like boxes? Like that won't hurt us? And she goes, No, I'm taking the <laughs> whole ship. <laughs> and Mando instantly is like, This is not a part of the deal. Yeah, this is before. And yeah. Pray she don't alter it any further. But um and of course she did. And she's like, Well, you're only getting your information if you help us take this ship. Right. And uh, I think she says this is the way, kind of mocking him a bit. But also just yeah, hitting him with I a know, reality I was like, Ooh. check. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, so they make their way to the cockpit. Uh and that's before they do, that's when we get um our first time seeing Moff Gideon this this season dude and he's on the hologram so cool. i was so happy about that and so the imperial officer is asking for reinforcements and then moff gideon's mm-hmm. basically just like they've taken too much of the ship to warrant reinforcements like you know what to do and yeah. then um the imperial officer kills the two pilots and mm-hmm. he just starts the ship just starts going down yeah. into the ocean basically he's just gonna kill himself and them included just because it's yep. it's not worth them having the weapons. Yeah, long live the empire. Yeah, yeah, that's what Moff Gideon. Long live the empire. And so, um, yeah, so, bef- he's getting he's getting down, and Sasha Banks' character is reading off the uh their altitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do make their way to the cockpit, and they rip him out of the seat. And um, Sasha Banks. You missed a scene, though. You missed a scene. Oh, so yeah. as they're yeah, well, not really. Go Just ahead, something no. I wanted to say. Um. So there's, they're going down the bridge, and then obviously the ship's going down, and uh, there's a bunch of stormtroopers at the door, and uh, they're all shooting, shooting at um, and they're like, man, it's like cover me, right? And then like they just don't cover him, and he just gets like shot like twenty times over, yeah, like like all over the all over the armor, and you hear like the ding 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 ding. Yeah, and he has the grenades. Dude, he just got screwed. Yeah, he had the thermal detonators. Yep. Yeah, and he just got just destroyed, and then kind of like threw it like that. It's kind of an interesting so. parallel between. Um, that was funny. Or like a contrast between him, like being raised by Death Watch, and then mm. Bo-Katan and her squad. That's a lot more like right. stealthy and like quick. And he yeah. just runs in there and takes all the hits, mm-hmm. and then just throws the things, and it yeah. works great. I mean, he he yeah. lives somehow. His cape didn't uh, that was catch a cool on scene. fire. But I thought it was funny. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> they couldn't name for like. I mean, he has best guard armor, I know, but there's open spots, so yeah, that's what it was. I've been asking that funny. since season one. But it's okay, because <laughs> it's Star Wars. It's invincible, dude. Yeah. So yeah, basically but. they get to the cockpit, and they rip the Imperial officer out of the chair, mm-hmm. and Mando and um, Sasha Banks' character are trying to pull it up. Pull and, ship uh, up, yeah. While that's going on, Bo-Katan has the Imperial officer just like pushed against the wall at yes. like knife to his neck or whatever. Yeah. And he, I think she says, Vibro does he have blade? The- Vibro blade, right? So, yeah. Does she ha does uh he have the dark saber? And then he's like, if you're asking, then you already know. You already know. <laughs> and she's like asking more information, and then he like electrocutes himself, right? He like yeah, she's got like a, a it's got like a pill. Star Wars cyanide pill. That yeah, which sick. is pretty cool. What a cool idea! Yeah. yeah. And so he goes out, so, and it's, that's that pretty awesome. dark, man. Like. Yeah, that's what I like about Mando is that like they're yeah they're, like yeah they, start, they get start. there sometimes yeah mm-hmm. which was pretty cool it so was cool they managed to get the ship up and um obviously that guy's dead and so mm-hmm. um when they're they've kind of mellowed out uh she's like are you sure you don't want to come help us with Mandalore like the it's your planet too and she, you can tell right. she's trying to unite all of Mandalore again like they did yeah. in Rebels or like they tried yeah. to do in Rebels. And um, so he's he basically says no. I I this my quest is to live, to do, deliver right. the child, 
And so that's when we get hit with, uh, you're going to find Ahsoka Tano on the planet of Corvus in the city of Kaladin. Yes. As tell her Bo-Katan sent you. And that just like, Dude. I think everyone in the room, even people that who we were with that didn't even know like Star Wars or Clone Wars all that well, at least know who Ahsoka is. Right. And, um, which is going crazy. And it's like, oh, just Dude. hearing her name even is just insane. Uh, it's happening. It's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. Ahsoka Tano played by Rosario Dawson. And we all First kinda... time live action, Clone Wars. It's going to be crazy, man. Dream come true. And we Dream all kind of knew, especially when Boba. We didn't know, but like. Yeah. Even even with, uh, with Bo-Katan, like, I like, it was either going to be Sabine or Bo-Katan that episode. Mm-hmm. But like, still, I got the same reaction yep. as like seeing her the first time. I mean, oh, dude. in our last podcast, I mean, we were off, but we still say that we, mm. we we're like Bo-Katan's definitely going to be in it. Yeah, yeah. And, it's either Sabine or yeah. We were kind of close, but yeah, yeah. And so Bo-Katan, um, is like, all right, well, if you ever once you're done with that, or you or if you ever want to join us, save Mandalore, um, mm-hmm. like the offer stands, and he's like, all right, uh, yep. he, he goes back to his ship, which. He paid a thousand credits to get that fixed, and uh, it's really not yeah. well fixed. I know it's not very good, and um, I think that's gonna obviously lead us into the next episode. But yeah, um, um, so he starts flying off. Uh, he tells Baby Yoda, he's like, "I know where I gotta bring you now." And then yeah. that, I don't know, that there's like that squid face hugger thing. Yeah, yeah that little, little, little like Yoda. octopus thing. He yeah, just, he just grabs it. Grabs it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. And then he's off, and a piece of the crest kind of falls off. And I'm not yeah. going to lie, I thought that the piece of the the crest was falling off, and it kind of went down with it. I thought we were about to see Slave 1 take off after him for some reason. Ooh. I don't know. Just because, like, it, I don't know, it stayed on it. But I Oh, think that my was, God. That would have changed. Oh, yeah. my God. But That would have been know. so sick. Yeah. And I so, want to see Slave 1 again. I want to see Slave I One do again. Too, but so I don't know where do. it is. Who knows where it is? No, it's got to. I don't know. Well, I mean, well, we'll Boba see, obviously guess. didn't leave Tatooine. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't and know. he would have left. He's a mystery still. But um, which is good. That's always good. Right. You want that in your in shows. And so yeah, so that's where the episode ends. It's a short episode, mm. which is interesting because that is like some people's main complaints is that yeah. the episodes are too short, but. On the other hand, it's like the best episode. This is and so yeah, this is my favorite episode. Honestly, I was I nervous about the time. I don't think being longer would benefit it at all. I just thought it was a fine yeah. episode. Yeah. Um. Such, oh. And it was funny too. Like you got. I remember when when Mando went to pick up Baby Yoda from the Frog People. Oh uh, yeah, we missed that part. Yeah, yeah. 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 He basically it, like Baby Yoda's whining. He doesn't want to leave like the little yeah. the frogs. Yeah. Um. Glad he didn't eat one. That would have been messed up. He didn't up. eat him, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't... Maybe Yoda uh, doesn't need more controversy right now. He doesn't. Have you seen people online? I know, people are mad about yeah, last episode. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah. weird. It's um, just a weird but thing to get upset about. It seems like Mano doesn't feed him too well. Yeah, dude. I Well, Ori's growing you know? now. Well, Ori's I, growing. I think Baby sure. Yoda's growing, and I'm gonna I'm making a video about that. Because I think there's a lot of solid Very evidence. Excited. Maybe not this yep. season, but... Next season, I think he's gonna have like a rapid growth. Because yeah, yeah, I think. But I I still am gonna say that we're gonna hear his first word this season. Yeah, dude, he's coming close to talking. He's like, womp, womp, he's womp. he's close. He's talk. Yeah, he he's, wants to talk, dude. He wants to, dude. Um. Yeah. So, what are your th- what are your theories? What do you think next episode's gonna be? It's keep in mind, it's um, it's. Well, the the synopsis is out, or like the basic description. Yeah, no, it's yeah, we all know what that's going to be. So I don't think we're yep. getting Ahsoka. Nope, hundred percent not. Um, well, not hundred percent not, but I. Best case scenario, we will see um, a tease for at the end, but honestly, still. Yeah, maybe it. like a shot at the end, but I honestly, we know it's episode five, right? Because Dave Filoni is directing, and he Dave wrote Filoni, it. Yep. yep. And I think he's going to spend most of episode five looking for ahsoka and then he's gonna find her like midway maybe or maybe she'll just be there but i feel like she needs to have some kind of reveal right yeah oh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna oh 
it's gonna be an emotional moment, but um Do you think we'll yeah, see I don't, I, Do you think we'll see Ezra know. or Sabine? Do you want to go to episode five? You don't even want to talk about episode four? No, we'll get to episode four. Because I know just... I, I'm hyped for episode five too. Me but... too, but yeah, we probably should. I'm just saying, I don't I don't think we're going to see Ezra because they're probably going to save that for the Rebels, the next Rebels season or whatever, the next Rebels show. But yeah, I feel um, like we could definitely see Sabine. Sabine's more likely, yep. I imagine they're going to yep. be en route to fi- trying to find Ezra. And the planet that yeah, they're on could be kind think... of near the unknown regions. Yeah. Uh, what if we saw Thrawn somehow though? Nah, they Dude, live action Thrawn no. would <laughs> That's too be a game characters. changer as well. Dude, this episode was a game changer, but live yeah. action Thrawn, dude. Oh. So, so um you... yeah, I, I think they're not gonna do the Ezra Thrawn thing because no, um not. like that's gonna be what the Rebel sequel is. Yeah. So I just don't think they're gonna like reveal that already because they need to make a whole show out of it, so do you, do, um, you, do you want to hear my theory? We'll talk about five, episode four, but do you want to hear my theory yeah. for the show going forward? Straight to five. Yes. So Mandalorian, yes. Din Djarin has made a lot of friends, right? Mm. Made a lot of good friends, a lot of close connections, especially with good large people. groups of people, people who are right. capable fighters and warriors. Mm. And he needs, yeah. eventually he's going to have to help take over Mandalore again. We mm. know he's going to go back to that. And so what if he goes back to that planet we see in episode three uh, where he taught them all how to fight? And what if he goes back to Mos Pelgo Ooh. and he's like, hey, can you I helped Mos you. Pelgo, can yeah. you guys help me liberate my planet? Because I helped you with your town. Mm. And so we have a whole army of the Mos Pelgo people, maybe the Tusken Raiders, um, which would be crazy to see them off Tatooine. Um, and then also the people from episode three. And we just mm. have this, and Grief Karga and Jiang, and, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Cara Dune. Cara Dune, yeah. And we get all of them. Maybe somehow he puts back together IG-11. I don't think we he will. But, um. Oh. Um, oh yeah. But that could be Yeah, no, cool. he's, he's, I think Quill and him are gone, sadly. Yeah, and so in order, yeah. and maybe Ahsoka leading them. I think Ahsoka's gonna come Ahso- back Ahsoka Ahsoka is coming back. If there's going to be... A Mandalore end end game type yeah. scene. Mm-hmm. I think we will get a soak in it. The only thing is, I like I I agree with your theory. Um, I don't I don't think we'll see it this season. No, I think this I is either. what we'll I think this up, is though. what the rumored Filoni verse is going to be. Mm-hmm. I think like maybe not because well. I think we're gonna get a big, we're gonna get a Siege of Mandalore three, right? Siege of Isn't Mandalore, it? yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna get another one because, and I think Ahsoka will be there. And I think we'll have the Rebels characters back. We'll have Mando, uh, all the Mando characters. I think it's gonna be big. It's gonna be ah- big, and it's gonna be exciting. Ahsoka once again, uh, liberating Mandalore, and this time from the remnants of the Empire. And Bo Katan. Yeah, and Bo Katan, which Bo-Katan is again. so crazy. Maybe Rex. You never know. Dude, I want to see Rex. They can want I, anyone. Morrison's in the show. Oh, yeah. you know, actually, yeah. So, go back to episode five. I mean, oh yeah, he's likely go. too, because Tamora Morrison is in the show. So, like, I know the idea had to be like tossed around, and, like since we have him as Bobo, like why don't we just use him as Rex too? Because mm-hmm. yeah, why not? You're paying um, him. And and um, the only thing is, I don't know how old he'd be because like clones rapidly age. Yeah, but they could make him but, pretty old. Right. They made they made Bogatan look like super young. So yeah, and she's like fifty now. Yeah, she's like so getting up there. Uh, right. So episode five, yeah. we know we're seeing Grief Cargo, so, Cara Dune, and oh sorry, no four. So four. four, four, four. Sorry, four. I'm so excited for episode You're okay. five. I know, I know. But, I just uh, want to skip. I want to skip a week. Honestly, no, no disrespect yeah. to Carl. I Weathers, think but. this next episode, he's probably gonna go back because he needs um to fix the Razor Crest. Because I don't think he's making, and I, I don't think he's making yeah. it all the way to Corvus or whatever in the yeah. state that the crest is in now. Yeah. Um. Or. He's gonna get a call from Grief Karga or or Cara I think, Dune. I think that's likely. Saying like, yeah. Hey, the Imperials are like really make building up 
on Navarro and we need you and he'll do it because the end of the episode of the episode three uh, season two episode three kind of like he kind of he just told baby Yoda he's like I know where to take you and now we're going right so like yeah. I think I think he's gonna get called on by Grief Cargo and Kara Dune. yeah I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be like a hologram and like Grief Cargo's like Mando come back to Navarro or something yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be something like that mm-hmm. also Mando's gonna need prepare uh repairs for the Razor Crest but yeah, yeah I think it's too. gonna be something like that do you think um, we'll see we're Moff gonna Gideon? see what's that do you think we'll see Moff Gideon in this episode because yeah, I don't I don't know but like again, Giancarlo Esposito said that like we're gonna see Moff Gideon like sooner rather than later, or like an episode about him sooner yeah. rather sooner rather than mm-hmm. later. So, um, probably right. I mean, uh, obviously, it, it's not gonna be a Moff Gideon episode, but he could have a giant play in this episode. Yes, I think. I mean, if I'm assuming just matching it up with the trailer. Because the trailer has covered these first four episodes pretty much so far. Yeah, I, I think. think that's it, which is They're... so cool because we're going to see – we have uh, three more episodes. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. Four more episodes. Five. Yeah. Sorry. Four. No, we, we got eight, eight. episode three. No, no. I mean like, uh, like oh. the footage from – because we got yes. footage from episode four, so we're going to have yeah. four episodes that we don't know anything about, which is – True, true. Oh, craziness, okay. but – Sorry, but, go ahead. So yeah, so I'm assuming there's that Imperial outpost and the Empire's just continues to grow mm. and they want to take it down or something, but I think Moff Gideon will be there because I think Navarro's like his spot because it's obviously yeah. not, it's not well ruled by the New Republic because there's bounty mm. hunters crawling in and out of that place. And right. um, the guild. Yeah, I think that's just a good spot for the Empire and Moff Gideon to start rebuilding. And I mean, obviously, it's a big empire spot because, um, what's his name? Uh, the client is just what they called him, I think. The guy from episode one that hires oh, right. Rando. He was there, yeah. and he was a huge empire guy. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. If we, sorry, uh, we'll get to your point. I just got a lot to say. If no, um, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking about. If we see Moff good. Gideon, do you think we'll learn anything new about Baby Yoda? Because he wants Baby Yoda for some reason. Um. Like, are you saying, like, they're going to further your idea about the Camino patch on Dr. Pershing yeah, from maybe. last well, season, I stuff like that? It, no, I don't think The show has so done yet. a really good job at having, giving you a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. And so we don't, and it, we, we learn as Mando learns, basically, except for the Darksaber. That's, that's the, right. I think that's one of the only scenes we've seen not from Mando's perspective. Or not yeah. following Mando. Right, or he's not there, yeah. And so, right. this sh- basically, we're like, why does Moff Gideon want Baby Yoda so bad? So bad that he would bring an entire army to come stand down with him. Yeah. And, and it, which he lost. <laughs> kind of <laughs> crazy. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to get some answers next episode. And yeah. then we'll get to the Ahsoka stuff. I don't think it's going to be as filler- as people say it's going to be, because I've seen a lot of discussion. Let's not like, use that word. I don't. I, yeah. I don't just like using it because it's just people resort mm-hmm. to that. So people it's keep, not filler. I don't. People keep being like, "Get ready for more filler," and it's, it's no, part no. of the story, dude. So yeah, exa- and each each episode, either subtly or majorly, has continued the story. Even yeah. world building at the time, right? Like, I I thought the episode before this was great, and I thought we got a lot of world building. We learned. A- I liked it. We learned yeah. that the New Republic is way too lenient, and that's probably mm, going to le- that's probably going to yeah. lead to their downfall, yeah. or that's probably what led to their downfall. For yeah, like, I hope when we the first order came. Learn out. more about that. Like, I-, I know they're gonna like set up the rise of the first order somehow. I know, yeah, or maybe not this season, but down the down the line, we'll see that definitely. So yeah, um, yeah, but go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I mean that's basically all I was saying. Is that just like we okay. learn? We've learned a lot about the New Republic, but not not mm-hmm. so much that it's in your face. We kind of still have to piece it together. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm excited, man. I was, I mean, I'm always gonna be excited about Mando. I'm always gonna be excited about new Star Wars. But this, like, just like 
it was like slowly going up and then it just skyrocketed and now we have a very clear um direction of where it's going and we also right yeah you always got to remember boba fett is looming in the background somehow you know he yeah, has some I actually kind have of something plan. to say about him. Go ahead. I'm a little, um, I'm getting more nervous and more nervous that we're not gonna see him this the rest of the season. Mm. The most, the most, um, we I I think they'll do another tease, maybe not a cliffhanger, but something with Boba at the end of the season. Sure. Yeah, I actually agree with that. Just because I don't yeah. really see. I don't I mean, see. We still how got it a good fit. amount of episodes to go, and maybe he'll be in the next one. True. But I just don't see really how he fits in, other than just like. I mean. I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. I mean, so well, we know five. We don't know six though, and then we don't know seven or eight. So maybe he could fall in there somehow. Maybe. Um. But yeah. Um. I don't know. The rumored by well, the rumor by deadline. Saying that the uh, Boba Fett miniseries is filming mm-hmm. this week. Oh this yeah, week? and I don't so, have any sources for this, but I believe season three was confirmed for twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah, which that's, is good. That's definitely gonna happen. Yeah, you gotta love that. Yeah, very excited. Um, yeah, I'm a little. Uh, I'm not worried about Boba. I just, I just, I'm not sure yeah. we're gonna. I mean, if he doesn't show up, like, we know yeah. they know what they're doing. And right. so, like, obviously, it'll be a little disappointing to mm. be like, oh, well, you tease Boba. But that's just even more anticipation going into the next season. Yeah, I feel like it could be a tease for the miniseries because that's going to come out before season three of Mando. We're going to see the Boba Fett miniseries. So. True. If, if, they're, if they're right. Which is exciting. And we'll get that um, Disney meeting. Yeah, right, I'm, out, I'm pretty positive. So, yeah, yeah. so that's going to be Thanksgiving Eve. And also the... Wait. Yeah, also, yeah, Thanksgiving Eve and also the week that Episode 5 comes out. Okay. So, True. I think an Ahsoka series is going to be announced. All right. If it's... Which is if crazy. It's re- I mean, we know Episode 5 is going to be big. If the... Mm. um. If that's big too, maybe we should touch it in on the podcast, but probably we'll make a separate video about it if it's big. Because I don't think oh, we're going to yeah. be able to fit an entire episode about Ahsoka Tano. Yeah, we're definitely going to make a video projects. about it. No, because yeah. it's a whole slate. It's a whole slate. Yeah. So we're going to get a lot of stuff, yeah. So no, we'll definitely mm-hmm. make a, bi- a video about it. Um, You can definitely find that the week of. So, um, Okay, so I'm trying to think. So episode four, definitely Navarro episode. Carl yeah. Weathers is directing. Yep. Um, we've seen some shots from the trailer. We're going to see that the that sick shot of the scout, uh, scout troopers on the speeder bikes jumping off. Oh, so cool. I'm excited, um, man. I'm excited. We're going to somehow the Mithral is coming back. Oh, true. True. Yeah, I like him. I like myth- him. <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> oh, you, so you got pretty extensive Star Wars lore knowledge. And I do too. Thank but you. They keep <laughs> yeah, you do too. Don't the Mithral. Short. The Mithral. Yeah. Dinjorin, Dinjarin, and Bo-Katan have all said Dank Ferric, and I have no idea yeah, what it dude. means. Yeah, dude. What is it? It's like a is swear. Is it Dank? Dank Ferric. Is it That's, Dank? Yeah. D-A-N-K. Ferric? Dank Ferric, yeah. I thought, I I heard it first in episode one of this season. I thought, I thought he said, like, Thank Ferric or something. But no, it's Dank mm. Ferric, and I think it... I don't know. It's just like some kind of swear. It's got to be a swear. Yeah, it's got to be like a swear, dude. It's cool. I like <laughs> it. It's but it's just like I've never heard <laughs> it know. before. And it's not. It's not just a Mandalorian thing because the Mithral says right. it too. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting, I guess. Yeah. Um, but he's coming back. Um, I know we're getting a new. Um. So not the flame trooper, but we're getting a trooper called the Magna Trooper or Magma Trooper. Cool. How do you um, know about so that? So it's so there was um some like uh, merchandising for this season, and um they always do those cardboard cutouts. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and the Mithral is one of them, and we get um. A new trooper. So it's like the same design as the incinerator. Oh, sorry, the incinerator trooper. Not 
not yeah uh, like with the red the trooper cinema trip yeah we got the red mm-hmm. like the yeah um and it and this one is like uh orange yellow color oh cool. and i'm pretty I'm i feel like we're gonna probably see that in episode four which would be pretty cool nice yeah i think we're gonna so get i think a it's called the mag mag magna trooper i'm pretty sure i could be All wrong right. but i'm so. excited man i think new trooper cool mithril is coming back i mean i don't know I, I don't think he's gonna be the reason they go to the imperial prison no definitely not i think he's gonna like so, they're gonna stumble across him and he's gonna be like can i come or he's gonna like i don't know for, he's gonna yeah, he's like remember me or something yeah. like that and know? they're not gonna yeah. want to have him because but he's just gonna somehow sneak probably sneak on to that transport thing they're on in that shot Ooh, yeah, maybe he could be, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, actually, well, I, I said an Imperial prison, but it's a, it's an Imperial prison, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't see why he would be in an Imperial prison. Right, because he, yeah, he was put in the guild. Yeah, he was like a well, bounty he, hunter. He, Mando, yeah. Unless the Empire called mm. on the bounty hunters for him. But, I don't know. I, I don't know. Personally, I think it's an Imperial base. Let me look up the description I think it of the is. episode. It was yeah. It was very brief. It was very brief. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've all been pretty brief. Um, yeah, it was pretty brief. I don't really remember it. I think it was just like, Mando needs to find some friends, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it says. Um, (laughs) sorry, I'm having a little trouble finding it. No, you're good. Um, but I'll, I'll keep going. So, um, yeah, we're gonna see that. Um that imperial transport like the ones in rebels with the like the ones on the ground which are pretty cool so that'll be probably a cool scene like running through the kind of like uh caverns of navarro so that'll yes. be a pretty cool scene yeah. um we're gonna get yeah that yeah, shot of mando gonna... flying off that yeah. was, uh, with the jetpack so i'm excited i think that. it's gonna be like a cool action-packed episode so i'm pretty excited for that yeah. um we're gonna yeah, see definitely. some cool action so it um, says yeah um, the Mandalorian rejoins old allies for a new mission. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. So, so pretty I big. Think, so yeah, I I think Grief Cargar, someone's gonna be like, hey, you gotta return to Navarro for whatever reason, mm-hmm. and that's yep. how they, because he's pretty set on his path right now, and he will probably be right. a little reluctant. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm excited, and we'll definitely touch it. No matter if the episode, if the episode's just, I don't know, like paint watching paint dry, we'll still talk about it. So. I don't think it's going <laughs> no, to be a gonna bad be one. I, I mean, obviously, it's not like a like reveal. It's going to be like a character reveal episode like yeah. we've had like with both episode three and four, episode one and three. Fun Star Wars. Um, yeah. I'm excited for it. I'm still excited for it. Obviously, I do want to see Ahsoka immediately in live yeah. action. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, God. I can't, I can't wait. Actually, so one thing I was thinking about, do you think... I don't... So they did the thing with Maul and Solo where they had um, Sam Witwer's voice over Ray Park's body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think they're going to do that with Ashley and then Rosario? No. No. I do not. No, I don't. Okay. I don't think they're going to do that because, well, maybe. I don't know. With Maul, like it was for that one scene, but they definitely anticipated doing more with him. So it's like they would have yeah. kept Sam Witwer over his voice. Um, and yeah. I don't know, they could, but if they'd have to do it well and it'd have to look good, which they can, it's, they, they're Disney. They have probably the most resources for filmmaking in the world. Right. Um, they've, they've done, they've done like dubbing over a character before. Yeah. I don't know why I can't think of it. I'm going to say, I hope so, but mm. at the same time, I don't think so. Yeah, and I think I, re- I really I just feel bad for Ashley because like she's like kicked out of Ahsoka now. Which is well, kind of unless they, they're probably gonna do more animation stuff with her, and they'll probably use her voice. Yeah. Again. Here's the thing: they cast mm-hmm. Rosario Dawson for know. a reason, you know. So right. if, well, she's if, been fan casted, and and I yes. like am so happy she's gonna I, be. I, I Ahsoka, can't see so. anyone else's face. Like I feel like her face matches what Ahsoka yeah, should like Clone Wars, pretty well. Yeah, Clone Wars. Yeah, Ahsoka, yes. But at the 100%. same time, they would also voice would be a big thing so she can probably do a a decent thing. enough ahsoka voice that sounds i don't like want to do an impression too. though yeah but yeah i guess not maybe not an impression but i don't know i think it'll be all right if it's awful then it it's gonna ahsoka be is gonna be older 
So she she could yeah, have a slight that. voice change, I right? Mean, I know. Maybe, but she's an adult. I mean, like, yeah, Ahsoka's voice is pretty distinct, so. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Yeah, I mean, either way, I'm, I'm going to, like, probably tear up and cry, but, uh, Whoa. yeah. <laughs> He's going to cry, people. I'm going to cry, people. Um, uh, yeah. Is there anything else um, you wanted to touch up on? I for think this for the show, episode, we've covered all the bases. Yeah, I think um, we're going to get some Mandalore. I don't think this season, but definitely upcoming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think we're gonna see Ezra and Thrawn, even though I would love that. We're not love dude. to see them. We're not. I'd put money on it. We're not. I think no. Sabine is honestly likely since her, yeah. her, and um, since she's with Ahsoka. Yeah, but if, um, if she Sasha Banks playing Sabine, then who? I don't know. I mean, I think. I mean, obviously, I think. I, again, it's another Dave character, so I think. Yeah. Whoever. I mean, if, if uh, saying she is in it, I, I assume she'll be casted well. So, well, Sasha Banks is another one of those. Um, like she was fan casted a little bit before this, the show. I, I I'd seen, that. yeah, I'd seen people being mm. like, "Hey, Sasha Banks would be pretty good." And then you see them mm. side by side, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, that's that looks a lot like Sabine." I think, yeah, I mean, I I was hoping for it, but she's also not an actress, know. really. I mean, she is right. well, technically, but she does like WWE say... stuff. And, yeah, I mean, she was fine for the character she played, but I mean, it wasn't. Right. It was. It definitely wasn't big character worthy acting. Sasha Banks. Yeah. If for some reason, you're listening to this. Um, She's you make a lot more money <laughs> than I ever will, so don't be offended. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I I think she would have been good too, but um, when they when they do live action, Sabine, I I I, I it'll it'll be good. I'm yeah. not too worried about it. I, um, I agree. I agree 100%. They've been uh, nailing the castings with uh, these characters. For sure. Katie I mean, Sackhoff, you can't go wrong with both Rosario Dawson. With right. Using right. the voice actress. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I, just, yeah. We'll I, I just hope Ashley is, like, not kicked out because I, I, like, love her. She's, like, awesome. So I mean, if they ever do anim- more animated stuff, there's no one else they'll go to, you know? Yeah, hopefully, like, the re- I think the Rebel sequel is going to be animated um, again. In Clone so. Wars style, I heard, too. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be inter- it's gonna be interesting to see them in uh Homer style. So you just wanna close this out with like what shows we got coming next? Unless there's anything else you wanted to touch on Star Wars related. Or, um or anything related. It's good. How yeah. you doing? How's your life been? It's been good, you know. It's good. Uh yeah. Mando has kind of consumed my weeks, which is Same. not a bad thing. Which is always good. Um yeah. So. Yeah, my I feel um, like my life is ex- exponentially better when there's some Star Wars going on. Dude, yeah. And especially 100%. when it's good. Not like Last Jedi or Rise of Skywalker type mm. Star Wars. I'm talking mm. man does We'll make sequel videos. Star we'll Wars. make sequel videos. Not random yeah. videos, but we'll, we'll make some. Um Yeah, dude, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be crazy. I think I think this I mean I don't know, obviously, but I think this finale could top last season. Agreed. If we get Agreed. like a the Bo-Katan show is already topping. Ahsoka, T- yeah, yeah, uh, team up. So, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, awesome. this season rides out um, the same way it's it's going, being yeah. really good and stuff. So, but yeah, dude, it's gonna be a good couple of weeks. So yeah, so yeah, rumored coming up shows. Bad Batch, mm. that's like confirmed though. Hundred percent, yeah, yeah, Disney that's confirmed. confirmed. Yeah, yeah. We got yeah, a Kenobi, which is also confirmed. This is Kenobi. Also, can't this be gonna bad. be so please good, dude. Please don't be bad, Disney. Please don't make it bad. It won't be it, bad. It can't be bad. Mm, it won't be bad. I don't think gonna be bad. Dude, we and we're gonna see Clone Wars. More Clone Hayden. Wars. Clone Wars is finally. I'm so happy Clone Wars is getting the love, dude. That's dude. That's this why the bad. sequels. That's why the sequels. I have a love hate relationship because without it, mm. Disney wouldn't know where their fan base is at. Yeah. Well, and that that's. I don't know. Whatever. We don't need to. Talk about yeah. It, but, yeah. Um, we'll talk about that another time. Well. <laughs> um. But yeah. Um, so Kenobi. So and then you. Boba Fett show maybe. The new we series probably very likely. A, another deadline's new, pretty pretty resource uh pretty good source. So. Yeah, they're big. Um, another Mando season, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, Rebels. Yeah. Uh, sequel, which will hopefully sequel. be better. 
they, I mean, they know people weren't huge on Rebels. Well, they know people care about the story. Yeah, I think um, the way they left, I think it it, it uh, provides a lot of good stuff. So yeah, yeah. And uh, Taika Waititi's movie. Yep. Um, Don't maybe know. Ryan Johnson's movie that's still up in the trilogy. Air. I keep hearing no, he's not doing it. Yes, he is doing it. And then yeah, Ryan Johnson is like, maybe I, I'm doing it. So I don't know, dude. It's gonna know. be uh, it's gonna be interesting. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting yeah, to see how that plays sure. out. Um, and um, that's all I know about upcoming projects. Cassian Andor, that's in the timeline. Oh yeah, that's, that's happening. Yeah, that's happening. Yeah. Yeah, which they're I'm filming right for. now. They're filming right now for that. So. Good. Good. Yeah, um, awesome. Cara Dune, Bo Katan show possibly. Maybe. Rumor. I, I I thought I heard somewhere that that got shut down, but maybe not. I don't know. Um. I maybe don't not. Know. I don't. I I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, everything's up in the air, but I mean, we're gonna definitely make a slate announcement video when uh whenever we get that. So. Yeah. Um. Be sure to look out for that. Uh. What else do we got? There was a lot of uh, Hasbro reveals this week. I mean, true. A lot of stuff um, that I, I I did buy. You spend your hard money week. on. It's been a tough week. It's I'm for gonna, your kids in thirty years. I need a dude. break. <laughs> it's it's not it, no these toys behind me. Those aren't for me, bro. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I got toys yeah. too, man. Don't worry. Yeah. So, a lot of good stuff though. I'm very excited and um. Got some Clone Wars Black Series coming again. Bad Batch ones. Yeah, they look good too. They look so and good. Ventress looks they do look good. good. As well. Mando helmet. Um, yeah. Definitely, definitely got that, of course. Um, and then some. Uh, we got a. Yep. Yeah, so we got Queel. Oh yeah. Uh, Moff Gideon and. Which I'm uh, definitely picking up Moff Gideon. Brave Karga. Yeah. Dark yeah. Saber dude. Cool. Um. Yeah. So. All right. That stuff. Um. Trying to think what else. And that's it. All right. Yeah, sounds good. I'm definitely yeah. my hand on some of those. Yes. I have already done so. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I've said everything I want to say. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's it. I think we're good. Um, We will, yeah. All right. Well, we will definitely be back <laughs> next week. We have a couple yes, of videos. Yes, of course. If, if you made it this far, Uh, which if you did, why? I don't think I'm that Why? interesting. And <laughs> maybe John. I'm certainly know. not. All right. But we got some videos lined up, which are pretty interesting. Yep. You're not going to want to miss those. Yep. Uh, yes. The review on the new Spider-Man game. Miles Morales, which spoilers, dude. Johnny Loved really it. liked. I liked it a lot. Um, we but, got uh, some theories, just more breakdown stuff coming at you. Yep. And uh, obviously a podcast weekly. Don't miss it. Monday, yep. 3 p.m. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. All the comment down below. Do whatever Please you gotta do. do. So, yes. If you like this podcast, just do It'd be it. Be great, appreciate just it. Just do it. Come on. I'm looking at you like, come, come on. on. So if you if you watched fifty eight edited down, probably like fifty six, <laughs> fifty seven minutes <laughs> of see. us, you better I subscribe. Fifty eight. Come just on, on, people. Or don't. Just do whatever. You, I don't just, know. Hey, you know. How, how do you get subscribers these days? I don't know. Too. It's all an algorithm. I know, thing. It's all an algorithm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down to. Let's YouTube break it. Let's 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 crack through the. Let's yeah, break through yeah. the algorithm. All new nerds yeah. breaking the algorithm. <laughs> and then, do you want to become one of those channels that are like post like 80 videos? How to get big on YouTube in 2020, <laughs> but have like eight subscribers. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Not anywhere near that yet. So. Yeah. But we'll. Uh... <laughs> um. Oh. All right. Well, this has been the All New Nerds Podcast. All good. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, we'll catch you next week. Yes. See you, right. everybody. Goodbye. May the force be with you. Always. Bye.